Y'all remember Bryson from such videos as my chicken has a what parrot beak and the roosters are all right. With the last video I did about roosters, I made a comment about not doing the hot potato method and trying to keep their spurs trimmed so that they don't become a problem. Not all roosters will have spurs that are massively long. Some of them don't grow very long or much at all. His, on the other hand, if you can see, they're pretty bad. Okay, there's that. It sometimes interferes with how he walks. And I don't want them to be sharp because it can cause a problem with the hens to mate with them. You can't go out there, buddy. I'm gonna attempt to do this myself as best as I can to show you because I, I'm having shoulder surgery tomorrow. So this will be the last opportunity I have to get this done and I don't have anybody to help me right now. But there's a couple tools that I use. I have dog clippers and I've got a metal and a regular emery board. And then I have a Dremel with the conical grinding tool on top because it helps give a more rounded shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is only take off a little bit at a time. Sometimes you can see the quick, if you've done dog's nails or cat's nails, you can see where the color changes. You wanna make sure if you cut past that color line, it will bleed. So I highly recommend you have a towel and you have some styptic powder or clotting powder with you. That way, if it does start to bleed, you can apply pressure for about five to 10 minutes and add some clotting powder to it to stop the bleeding. But if you only take off a little bit at a time, hopefully it shouldn't bleed. And they're really thick too. I have better when you're on my lap. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move his foot forward a little bit. Right, so you're doing, you're such a good boy. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Can I put you down now? You should put you right here. Yeah, Bryson, just gonna put you right here. Here, let me do this. All right, never mind. He's not gonna let me do it right now. So I'm back again because do it, trimming his spurs isn't impossible for me to do by myself, but filming and trimming his spurs by myself is impossible. So we have ranch hand Brad helping us out today. So again, these are dog nail clippers. Now I can't go too far with them because his spurs are way too thick, but I can at least get about a quarter inch off. And that's all I'm trying to do is get to take a quarter inch off at a time. And then I'll just keep going and going until the quick starts to recede and I get more and more off. I let his go way too long because I just didn't know what to do. So hopefully this will help some of you. I had one subscriber who asked if I could do this because she lives too far away from a veterinarian. And um, I do understand that. But just take off about a, like a little teeny tiny bit, an eighth to a quarter inch at a time. Keep snipping away like you would a dog's nail until you start to see the quick. When you start taking more and more off, you may need to go with something that has a little bit more of an opening on it because this isn't gonna get all the way around. Okay, we've got that one. Now I'm gonna get to this guy. Okay. And they are hard and it takes a lot of hand strength to do it. Now, at this point, his spurs may be a little jagged. So if you have a Dremel, which is what I'm gonna use, use a Dremel, but if you don't, you have an emery board or a metal file, go ahead and use that and file it down. But I like using this because it allows me to get a nice round edge on it. It is rounding it so that it doesn't poke him in the other leg or poke the hens when he moves with them. In fact, if you have the time and you don't want to actually use a clipper on it, you could just keep grinding it down until it gets to the length that you want it to be. But it will take a while. I mean, they are hard.
So all I did was take about a quarter inch off of his spurs and then I rounded the edge so that he doesn't hurt himself or anybody else. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Thank you, Ranch Hand Brad. Yes! That was pretty stressful for him. Um, Not as it would be for anything. So he's now wanting to be on my lap and get cuddled. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. In the, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll let you inside a bit. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. And again, thanks for hanging with me and Brayson here on Tater Town. Who wants some? Who wants some? You? Brand Chan of the Year. Brad Chels from Tater Town. Chickens, donkeys, Highland cattle, dogs. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs>